So here's what I've not told you. I have moved. I have moved again. I've moved into a one bedroom flat that I have been waiting to come free for so long since I've been in this block. Good morning. It's Monday morning. I'm heading into work. Quite a nip in the air, very excited because our heating goes on in my block uh, today, two days early. Usually goes on on uh, the 1st of October, but because we're all so cold um, and because a lot of people are shielding and spending a lot of time indoors, the heating has gone on. Anyway, very eventful week this week and I will explain more. I've got a surprise for all of you um, later on in the week. But yes, eventful week, George is going to be, let's pop down here, I love this street. This is DeWalden Street. Oh, you can see it. I don't even know if you can see the sign. Um, yes, I love this street. Very nice townhouses. Very few complete townhouses in London that, you know, owned by one very wealthy person and not split into flats. Look at this. I love that. Four front doors. So two of those houses must be very thin. Anyway, um, Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, busy week. I've got, I've got a couple of treats. I'm going out for dinner, which is really nice, into Covent Garden. Um, to go out to dinner is a treat for any of us. My arm's aching, so I'm going to change. I don't know if I have a better side. I think both sides are a bit jowly. Um, anyway, yes, I'm going out to dinner in Covent Garden uh, later in the week, and then the big surprise. But what I was going to say to you, is George is producing today, and then Alisa is producing for the rest of the week. What the did light, you say? The lighting is not good in here. It's the really lighting warm. is, I think the lighting's, for, oh gosh. Oh, you see, I think the dim. The lighting's nice now. I sometimes think low lights mm. aren't as flash. Is it overhead? No, they, are, they are nice, but you just have to get the, the light on the front of your face. Um, well. George is producing yeah. today, as I said, mm -hmm. and I am excited. Oh, we're not excited. allowed to be this close. We are quite close, aren't we? No, we're not. Oh, we are, we're we... socially distanced. Okay, yeah, that's true. We, um, I think I'll now... we on my lap later. I think, <laughs> I think we now know. Yeah. I, we have an we're antennae of how there. to keep a distance. I'm sitting yeah. down, by the way. I'm not, I'm not standing up. I'm not that short. Please hold this book up because this is on our show today. And already someone has got a book out on... Um, the way lockdown has London has been in lockdown. Now, you follow me and I walk around London and show you how London in, is in lockdown. But have a look at this. Just sh open one of the pages. Because I... Can you find the Covent Garden one, yeah. George? Because I am going to Covent Garden later uh, to have dinner. And I want you to see what it is like. And when I'm there, we will see whether it is actually... Um, busier than how he's revealed it. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. It's in black and white. Also, so have you seen the quote at the front with that? What's that? I haven't got my glasses. What does it, it say? Says, to walk alone in London is the greatest rest. Virginia Woolf. Well. Any thoughts? Uh, yeah. So there we go. That is... That is Covent Garden. So um, I'm yeah. going to be going there for dinner and we will see whether it is actually like that. Right, but I better Not crack when on. you arrive, there'll be all the paparazzi. Darling, I'll be entering under a blanket. You will. Hello, good evening. It's just coming. I've had a mad rush because I'm going with Anna and Steve Pitron, who is a friend. He's head of Island Records, record label. We are going. The sticky bit that keeps this camera down down <laughs> has become very unsticky so you're wobbling all over the place I'm so sorry about that especially the people who always say to me Cho could you not keep your camera still you're gonna have to turn this bit off because it is wobbling all over the place anyway I'm getting to some traffic lights in a moment and then I can pause we are going to have sushi this is Steve said to me it's all about the early dinner now um, People like to be in bed. Well, also, it's very early dinner because we're not allowed out. 
mean, you know, restaurants have to close at 10. So last orders are usually about eight. So uh, yes, um, we're having early dinner, but because of that, I have had to run home, have a shower, walk Matilda, feed Matilda, get changed into the completely, I mean, this is winter and I'm wearing a summer evening outfit. I'm wearing my Anya Hindmarch duster coat and my double J uh, dress. These are summer clothes, but I, and I'm wearing boots. So that sort of levels it out. Doing that for. Anyway, yes, we're going to Sushi Samba in Covent Garden, right in the heart of Covent Garden. This was Steve's choice. I owe a lot to Steve because um, he is the person that used to, when Anna and I started the dog show, he would find us people like Macy Gray and Robbie Williams to come on the show because they love talking about their dogs. And I think that's what led to the success of the, of the Barking Hour, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I owe him a lot. Anyway, I better turn this off and um, might apply some more lipstick. It's gonna rain, I'm in completely the wrong outfit. So this is Covent Garden um, on a busy, well, a definitely not so busy weekday night. Usually it's heaving with people at this hour, especially just about to go to the theater. There's Drury Lane. And uh, yeah, there's, um, there's restaurants open, which is great, but um, they will be closing obviously at 10 o'clock. But it's the fact there's no theatre crowds that is really, really weird. Here's the London Transport Museum. They're open and we really recommend that people go in there. Ken Halligan's very famous perfumery. Um, anyway, better get a move on because I'm actually very late. Paul Steve Pitron. Thank you. Thank you. This is amazing. Oh wow. Love this. There they are. Oh my god. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll take it off in a minute. It's part of my outfit. <laughs> Steve, I wasn't ready. I was this, camera ready. <laughs> You're always camera ready. Sure. Anna. Hello, Joe. Love okay. it. Well, Anna's you. wearing LF Marky and you look amazing. Oh, wow. Really lovely. Oh, how was that? That, honestly, I can say, since March, I've, there have been no highs. Life has just become flat. That was a great big peak. It was like, look, this is like a ghost town. Yeah. It's a ghost town. You go in there, and it's like this amazing movie set. It's, um, it was absolutely stunning. It was beautiful, every bit of it. The food, the people, the hospitality, the decor. And the cocktails, Anna. The cocktails. What did lovely. we have? We had a lychee cooler. <sighs> which was vodka and coconut and lychee 
juice and ice and a little sort of uh, coconut ball floating at the top. It and was... how many did I have? And Steve, <laughs> Steve went, oh yeah, go on then. Every time uh, the wonderful waitress came up. <laughs> I don't know how many you had, but you're sober. I only had one and I'm not. I'm, I only had one and I'm not. No, it really hit me. <laughs> but it was wonderful. Yes. Absolutely Thank you, night. Steve. Thank you, Steve. Head of Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what I've not told you. I have moved. I have moved again. I've moved into a one bedroom flat that I have been waiting to come free for so long since I've been in this block. For the first time in, what, 12 years, I will be sleeping in a flat that has a separate bedroom, which is just, for me, at my age, just amazing. So I'm gonna show you this flat, okay? I kept quiet about this because I didn't know when it was gonna come up for rent, and I'm so pleased that my caretaker told me about it before they actually advertised it, because one bedrooms in this block very seldom come up. So again, I'm renting it, so the furniture in here is what I've inherited. I can live with it because it's very muted. I can have my own art and my own bits, um, but the light is amazing, the view is amazing. Let me go in and show you. So, this is the living room. Look at the view. So the view is the other side of Marylebone. So this is the other side of Marylebone. When I was right on the top floor, I was looking over to the BT Tower. This is looking over to Marylebone Church and towards Baker Street. I love the sloping eaves because again, I'm quite high up, but I'm, whoops, sorry, you can't see that. The sloping eaves, I'm quite high up, but I'm not at the very top. The light in here means it will be wonderful for vlogging. Uh, which my own flat is. It's very, very light. Um, it's got very muted colours. It's got a wood floor. Whoops. Um, and actually, I've got a sofa bed, so I can actually, people can stay the night, which they've never been able to do before. I've never wanted them to, to be quite honest. This is the little kitchen. And from here, and this is one of the few flats in this block that has windows either side. Usually they're always on one side. So here I get to see my view of the London Eye, of, of not the London Eye, of the BT Tower. So I have that view, which I love and I've really missed. Lovely, I've got a freezer. It's a really nice, small but a separate kitchen so I won't be sleeping in the same room as the fridge and the freezer. Let me show you the bedroom. So we come through here. Hello. This is the bedroom. Again, hello. Um, as you can see, lovely sash windows. I love the windows. None of this bed linen will I keep i mean it's all beautiful bed linen sloping roofs again um yeah absolutely beautiful bed linen but um i'm going to bring my own um so i will store this this is what i've wanted i've wanted enough cupboard space so okay not the cupboard i would have chosen but lovely cupboard space and typical for these buildings this fantastic look how much storage there is. Oops. All this storage. And then I'm going to show you the bathroom, which I love. Now, I have a thing about shower curtains. I hate shower curtains. So um, I will take the shower curtain down. But the bathroom has been done beautifully. I love the tiles. This is the original 1930s window, glass window. And again, it opens to the BT Tower. So 
so that's that is the view there that you were all familiar with um, when I was upstairs and yeah I love a bathroom with an outside window and I do love the green tiles I will be getting rid of the shower curtain I loathe shower curtains and then the little hall with the wooden floor so that is it what do you think? I, it doesn't have colour. I will add colour with my artwork. And I've yet to bring Matilda up here. So that's going to be interesting. Because Matilda's blind, I'm introducing her to a flat that she is unfamiliar with. So um, I've got to sort that out. Tell me your comments. And I love the fact it's got these sash windows. So I love the light. I love the fact I can see to the south and to the north and I can hang my clothes up. Tell me your thoughts. <laughs> Hello, I just very, very quickly wanted to give you an update because I have now moved most of my stuff in. As you can see, Matilda is totally at home um, and I, I slept last night, my first night in this flat, I slept so well. And I just realized it really isn't healthy sleeping and living in one room as much as it was a lovely studio flat let's hope the person living there isn't watching this um just the buzz of the fridge and all these things i just to, to be able to leave a living room and go to bed in a separate room oh my goodness so yes i am fairly tired it's the end of quite a busy week but i'm so pleased i slept i thought if i don't sleep after all this because this is more expensive for me to rent this but it is worth it to be able to relax and sleep and I will, I've slowly unpacked my stuff. I'm slowly getting my stuff out. I absolutely love it. So there we go. That's the end of this week's vlog. Oh, a surprise walker this week. Um, it's Philippe. Hmm. So enjoy Philippe walking across Carnaby Street. I will see you Wednesday. I'm sorry there was no midweek vlog, but I was in the middle of moving this week. So I will post midweek on Wednesday. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell me what you think, because you're so honest, all of you. And um, yeah, that's it. I better go to work. I am so late. I'm walking, here's the deal.